came in about 2.45. Uh, my wife Mindy and I came in and met with Tina and Daryl Seibel. And uh, after quite a bit of discussion, we mutually agreed that I would step aside and, and move forward. It surprises me that you would ever resign this position. I mean, that's not something that's really in your, uh, let's say, behavior. I, your commitment to the basketball program, I don't think you've ever resigned. So how did you come to this decision? Like I said, I want to do what's right uh, for everyone involved. That's my personality. I'm a team guy. And it's important to me that uh, I make sure that everyone knows that Tina and I met for quite a long time today, and, and we mutually agreed that I would step aside. Did you have uh, any decision in interim? Did she ask your opinion? No, on no. She told me who the interim would be. And uh, my whole concern is for our players. It was a very emotional meeting when I had an opportunity to meet with our players. This afternoon, I love those guys. I obviously was a big part of the recruiting process with all of them, and I just am cheering as hard as I can, and I'm excited about them having an opportunity to get back in town and play against New Mexico on Tuesday. What did you tell them? I told them that uh, when I had, when I was with them in the recruiting process, and now that they're here at UNLV, that I always talked about it's not just about basketball; it's about a lifelong relationship, and I can't wait to be with them on senior night. I can't wait to be with them uh, when they graduate, when they have kids, and it's a lifelong relationship. And that's what it's all about. Sure, it's always about winning basketball games, but it's all about so much more than that. And there was a lot of emotion in the room, and it meant a lot for me to be able to spend time with them. Dave, your history here and, and so forth, was this one like the, the toughest decision you've ever made? Come in here and say, Whether it was coming to UNLV as a player, staying as an assistant coach or coming back as a head coach. I just wanted to be part of something special. I came in as a role player at UNLV when I was a player, and I just wanted to be part of something bigger than me, and that was how I was as a head coach. When Jim Livengood called me on the phone and, and we got involved with the UNLV job, I just wanted to come and be part of something that was special and try to help build a foundation, and, and I think that we were able to do that, and I'm proud of what we accomplished, and I think it's set up for, for very, very special things ahead, and I'm excited about the rest of the season, and I have all the confidence in the world in our coaching staff and the players that uh, they'll play a lot more like we played against Oregon and Indiana and a lot less like we played this last week. So walking away had to be the toughest thing you've done, I guess, huh? It's a great program, and I'm just honored that I was able to be part of it as a player, as assistant coach, and as a head coach. You spent a lot of time, I'm sure, thinking about what went what we're, uh, wrong the past couple of weeks. Uh, what do you feel like you could have done differently, or what do you think? Uh, where this team went off in the wrong direction. Yeah, I think on a day like today, it's better just to look forward to the future, think back to the great times that I had here as a head coach for four plus seasons and all the times that I went to graduations for guys, won big games, got to the NCAA tournament and built a great program. And just the relationships that I forged and Mindy and I have really, really special friends in Las Vegas that'll be friends. And whether it was when we were at Utah State or BYU when we came back, those will be friends that'll, that'll be with us for the rest of our lives. This is a special place, and, and uh, it'll always mean a lot that I have an opportunity to be the head coach at UNLV. You plan on keep coaching? Absolutely. I think I got a lot of coaching left in me. I'll always appreciate the opportunity that UNLV gave me to come in and be the head coach. Uh, it's unique when you can be a player, an assistant coach, and a head coach at your alma mater. And I'll just always appreciate that opportunity that I had to, to be here, and I look forward to my next opportunity. How do you judge your, your time here when you look back four plus years? You mentioned some of the highlights there. But yeah. Where, I'm really proud of so much of what we accomplished. I think we had success on the court. We certainly had success in recruiting. I think we made the program built on what Lon Kruger had done, and I think the program is now nationally relevant. Every senior scholarship player went through graduation. We had no NCAA issues. And we made a big difference in the community with our Autism Foundation. And so I think that from that standpoint, overall, it's a success. I think as a coach, you always want to win more games and get to more NCAA tournaments. And so there's some unfinished business, no doubt. But I think we left the program in better shape than we took it over, just like Lon Kruger did. And so I think that certainly the coaching, current coaching staff will do a great job down the stretch. And then I think that this is a program that's poised for greatness in the future. When you spoke with the players, did you talk to them about the need to continue you need to be motivated for the remainder of the season and not let this... Oh, absolutely. And I gathered the players together last night in Laramie, and after I gave them a little bit of a stern talking to, we talked about how I believe in them, and I really feel like 
a nice run is in, in the future. And we got back on the bus last night, I said the same thing. And so I just, I reiterated those thoughts to the players that uh, we've done some really special things this season. It's a great group of guys who need to work hard. And I said, if you want to do something really special for me, let's go out and, and have a great rest of the season and, and, and so that everyone in the world can know what my team is supposed to look like, like it looked against Oregon, like it looked against Indiana, like it looked against South Dakota when we had 27 assists. That's runner rebel basketball and you guys are very, very capable and I have no doubt that's what we're going to see. Dave, the, la the last couple of weeks you seem to be pretty stressed. You can see it, you can tell. Does there seem to be any sense of relief tonight? Is that any part of the emotions that you're feeling? I don't think right now. I think that was just so honored that I had an opportunity to spend so many special years in Las Vegas and to be at UNLV and to be so part of something that is uh, so full of tradition. And so I just want to be there for the guys and whatever that means. Obviously, they've got new coaches in different roles now, and I think those coaches will do a great job. But I just I loved being in Las Vegas for the last four plus seasons and loved being part of something and helping build a foundation for what I think is going to be great in the future. Dave, you ever have those feelings, you know, the assistant coach, successful, BYU here, whatever, Utah State, and then when you get the head coaching job and it doesn't work out the way you maybe wanted it to, you kind of have feelings like, man, I kind of failed at certain things, or not, you don't have those. I think you only fail if you stop trying. And I think that any of us in life, whatever we do, whatever our profession is, whatever our personal life might be, if we can lie our head on the pillow at night, and we can say that every decision that I made was made with the right heart, and I gave it everything I had every day. You can't have any second thoughts. You learn from the past, and you try to do better moving forward, and that's how I look at it. And I'm excited that I was part of something that was extremely special and is going to get even better. And like I said, I think we took over a program that Lon Kruger did a fantastic job for seven years, and I think we built it and made it better. And I think it's in great shape moving forward. Like I say, we, we graduated our players. We had success in the court. We proved that you can recruit nationally at UNLV, even though we're not in a Power Five conference, and we made a difference in the community. And they are a great kids in this program. That was one of my main goals when I had the opportunity to stay here two years ago when I had an opportunity to go someplace else. I wanted to do it with young kids who were high character players, high character kids, and I think we did that and I think the, I think the future is extremely bright because of that.